Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, late on Friday in my region on the 28th of June last week, Microsoft also pushed out the latest dev channel build, 26120.961. And just a quick side note, that was on the 28th of June they pushed the build out, and on the 30th, they have also announced that they have temporarily paused the enablement of these features to investigate a few issues reported by Windows insiders, and they also plan to begin the enablement again shortly. Now, this is actually quite an important update for the dev channel, just to keep you guys posted, although Microsoft has paused the update um, until they sort those issues out, which is common in the insider program. And um, just to keep you guys posted, because with this build, Microsoft says they are beginning to enable a set of new features for Windows insiders in the dev channel. Now, I must just also say on another side note that most of these so-called new features making their way now into the dev channel have already rolled out to the stable version. So there's a bit of backwards and forwards here, but nonetheless, this, uh, these are new features now that are making their way into the dev channel in case you would be interested or do find yourself in the dev channel. Now, the first is regarding narrator where you can now use voice access um, to dictate text hands-free. And Narrator, as mentioned in previous videos, is a screen reader that describes what's on your screen and, and is an accessibility feature with Microsoft saying, and I'm just going to mention this, that uh, you can now start using voice access in Windows 11 to dictate text with voice and hear what is dictated. Over and above that, you can also use voice access to give Narrator commands. And some of the, these commands, as an example, are turn on narrator, speak faster, read selection, read next line, etc. So you can now use voice access to dictate text hand-free um, if you are using narrator. And while we are talking about voice access, um, which basically is a feature which lets you use your voice to type and control your device, as you may well know, um, Microsoft say, I'm also get, just going to mention this, they are, are introducing auto restart for voice access. This feature ensures that voice access will automatically restart if it encounters any issues so that individuals with limited mobility can get back to using voice access as quickly as possible and that means that you will no longer need to rely on alternative assistive technologies or assistance from others to reactivate voice access and i'm always in favor when improvements are made to the accessibility side of things when it comes to any os or any browser now this feature rolled out in our latest optional bug fix C release update to the stable version and is now in the dev channel, which starts the rollout of the new account manager on the start menu. So Microsoft says when you sign in with a Microsoft account, the new design gives you a quick glanceable view um, of your account benefits and makes it easy to manage account settings. Now, I would consider this year to be an ad, but Microsoft obviously says this is a new account manager that gives you a quick glanceable view of your Microsoft account. And that's obviously, this feature has been met with quite a bit of debate. And then the next uh, is begin is um, with Windows Share, where they are beginning uh, to roll out the ability to copy files from the Windows Share window. And here we go. That's also rolled out to the stable. And I'm just going to mention uh, the next couple because there are qu quite a couple of improvements um, that are making their way into Windows Share. So while we just stay here, let's just go through these quickly. You will also be able to now generate QR codes for URLs and cloud file links through the Windows Share window to share web pages and files across your devices, according to Microsoft. And then another one regarding Windows Share. If your Microsoft account uses a Gmail address, you can also now send email to yourself from Windows Share window and receive it in your Gmail account which I think is a nice little small yet significant little change if you are using Windows Share on a regular basis. And then Emoji, and these have also rolled out to the stable version, but just to keep you posted, they're adding support for Emoji 15.1, which introduces a small number of brand new Emoji, like Head Shaking Horizontally, Head Shaking Vertically, Phoenix, Lime, Brown Mushroom, and Broken Chain. And then Microsoft also says, that they are also supporting the new directionally, sorry, the new directionality updates for person, man, woman walking, kneeling with cane, running, manual wheelchair, and motorized wheelchair. And you can also now select right facing or the original left facing orientation for 
uh, these emoji and that's also rolled out to the stable so quite a bit of overlapping now with stable and the dev channel and then regarding windows backup um, i'm just going to mention this um windows backup can now back up your sound settings including chosen sound scheme will be backed up which can be restored via the windows backup app so if you are using sound settings i actually think that's a nice move in the right direction that's also made its way to stable and uh, um if we head over to the account page over on the settings app they are also beginning to roll out a new banner with a add now button under settings account for adding a recovery email address if you haven't added one for your microsoft account yet this will only show if you're signed in with a microsoft account and then the last so-called new feature to mention for this video and microsoft says if we just head back to those release notes here we go they say they are also beginning to roll out updated visuals for the rename your pc and change date and time dialogues to match the windows 11 visuals and that's more or less guys what's new in the uh in the uh, dev channel for last week and over and above that we get a couple of fixes because obviously we are in the dev channel and uh, um, that's with the latest dev channel build as mentioned which is build 26120.961 where microsoft say they are now enabling a set of new features for insiders who find themselves in that flight so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one